tour of my kitchen and show you three things that we did to make this space usable while we save up money to make it the space we want it to be. So the very first thing that we had to make a decision about were these countertops. Um, we had originally intended to put granite countertops in and we ended up spending our money to make the space structurally sound. Our foundation was bad. We ended up with just plywood countertops. We went with the furniture grade, the nicer quality plywood that made it smoother and easier to work with and I painted it with a gray paint and then we put a marine poly stain on it. I'm going to walk over closer to the sink and show you that it didn't work out very well over here. We have a seam that is pretty close to the sink right here and we tried to fill that crack, that seam, with wood putty before I painted it and then sealed it with marine poly and the paint or the wood putty just wasn't a good enough waterproof barrier. We're going to scrape that down and redo the paint and the poly and then I'm going to do an acrylic or a silicone clear caulk over the top of it and hope to fix it that way. Anyway, it is just temporary for a few years while we save up the money. The other thing is we had intended to buy uh, matching dishwashers and because of our budget constraints, we ended up, the one on the left is our old dishwasher and the one on the right is the new one. We could have gotten one, a new one that matched a little bit closer, but I decided I wanted a handle so that I'd have a place to hang my kitchen towel. Okay, so the next thing that we had planned to do, I'm gonna have to back back up, is to put in a big custom range hood over the top of our range. We got our range on Craigslist and then um, the range hoods that we wanted were about $1,200. And so while the electrician was here, it saved money to have him go ahead and wire it up. And so I'd been looking at wires for a while. And then we went ahead and just got a painting from Ikea for $40. And it fills the space perfectly and covers up the wires. I'm going to see if I can show back behind there. It'll probably pull off. There you can see the wires hiding there. The island is made of two folding tables that are six foot folding tables just from Target. And I, I used them pushed together for a while and the workspace was just too short for my back. So I went uh, to Walmart and grabbed these. I don't know if you can see because of the dark. Let's see. There we go. These um, under the bed lifts and that popped the table up. You can see under there, we've got quite a few bins that are being stored waiting for another project. And before, all of this under stuff was visible. So I ran to uh, Walmart again and got two of their twin sheets. They're $5 each. And when I cut them in half, I could use the original hem across the bottom and sewed them all together and gathered them onto a piece of ribbon and then sewed the ribbon to velcro and I hot glued velcro onto the table and that allowed me to put the skirt on that velcros off and I can wash it and then I threw some vinyl sheeting over the top of it so like that whole get up right there besides the tables and the tubs so the skirt and the vinyl all together was about twenty five dollars to turn to make an island the tables we already had on hand um, this is a big beautiful workspace. I can hide a bunch of stuff under there. Originally the island was supposed to house our pots and pans and our silverware drawer and an ice maker and a sink and all of that. So we're just kind of making do without it for now. But it makes it a serviceable area.